It's the Rock Man back with part three. This clip obviously isn't from yesterday. It's from that week I took the cutting and bulking photo. This is just a park right across the street from our house, this little creek. Uh, just some glamour shots that I did for Instagram that I could tag Kabuki Strength in, who's make, who is uh, Chris Duffin's company, makes this barbell uh, called the Tactical Shoulder Rock. I bought this one the first year they came out with the Gen 3 version of the Shoulder Rock, and they released this right before Christmas and put it on sale, and I had to have it because I had made my own version of the mace based exactly on the specs, and uh, this is a one-handed loadout. The first picture was a two-handed type of a loadout. It's another kind of technical barbell lift, and you know how I love that type of shit. And it really works out well because it incorporates dynamic movement, so you get good stretch, really stretches out the sore-ass triceps. It's all of my rotator cuff work because I just don't give a fuck about spending 20, 30 minutes with rubber bands ever to mess with that shit. And it just seems like every time I have a hot streak with the bench press, I incorporate this thing often. So... I've been taking it down to the creek with us all year, and I, I'll use it before I throw around the kids, and it helps me stay away from some shoulder pain. So, yeah, I love it. And you don't got to put much weight on it either. Uh, obviously, when I'm doing an actual workout with it like this at the house, I load it up uh, quite a bit heavier, but I'll just take the shinies with me when I go out somewhere, and maybe I'll only throw one of them on. I could make an entire video about it if you guys want to talk about the form or the barbell or any of the crap. But I want to move on to my next thing because this is an auxiliary video. But really, why I have been doing these workouts on this same day is so that the limited amount of time off that I do get from work, I can focus one of those days entirely on what my family wants to do and be focused on them instead of you guys who are serious about working out know you got to start thinking about it the night before. And I don't want to put that kind of stress on our day. I don't want to jam a workout or limit what we can do or how long we can stay out. See, a little man likes to mimic exactly what I do. That's why the dumbbell didn't work out for him. He had a little plastic barbell, but he's not fucking stupid. He knows it's a toy. It's not metal. It's not what I'm doing, and he wants to be cool and do what I'm doing. Pull down. Pull it. Go, boy. Yeah! I was lifting chains, so I set up the boy a chain to lift. Weighs almost as much as he does, and I was excited to see him excited about being able to lift it and rattle it, you know? So I'm going to get him a length of rope, throw a washer on it, and make him a little rope climbing station that he can mess with. I think that'll be fun. Anything we can do together that wears him out a little bit, that doesn't wear me out, that's good times. It'll give him something to do when I'm bench pressing. Obviously not when I'm squatting though. But oh boy, careful. bench press workouts are totally chill. You know, every bench bro knows that that's really more of a uh, socializing in between doing work type of day. And that's all this day was for me is I'm not super focused on the bench press training right now, obviously, I'm just having fun with it, maintaining and hanging out with my bros, know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the way I've been doing it all summer is opening up the door while the kids play in the backyard and I go out there and I swing the mace and I come in and I do a set and I go out there and I screw around and I take seven minutes between sets or who gives a fuck how long? I try not to make it more than 10 minutes because then I actually start to cool down, but I go out there and I goof with whatever they're goofing. I come in, I do sets, and that way I can integrate it into my day. It's one of the biggest reasons I wanted equipment at my house was so I wouldn't have to leave them behind to go do my own thing. I could make them a part of whatever I'm doing. I can be there and I can mess around with the auxiliary stuff and I don't have to worry about stepping away from it to go help her out with something. Good job, bro. You did it. Yeah. Does mommy know how strong you are? Yeah. Does she? I hooked up the chain for him, and then I was like, no, fuck that. That's a good idea. And I've done them in the gym before, 
and I was curious to try them on the pulley. Uh, yeah, what I found is that I need more chain, and this will work out just fine. In fact, Spud Inc. Uh, recommends that you hook a chain or a band to the bottom of the plate-loaded pin so it doesn't swing. Fuck that, I would rather just hook up the chains. Uh, it's a little bit different feel, and yeah, I did a lot of work with it. I did my supersets like this. I did two, spreading the rope, and then I brought the boy down, and he was on top of the chains, don't tell his mother, and put the dumbbell handle through the strap is how I do my, because I don't have a dedicated tricep or curl bar for the cable yet at the house, and did my press downs like that with him on the chains and shit. I wouldn't put one of my plates under it though. <laughs> I'm telling you that shit right now. Um, just put the boy up there. <laughs> That's fucked up, but we do a lot of shit that is super fun for him that his mother would never let him do in a million years, you know? Those are the exercises that went with the bench workout after breakfast. This was after dinner and after squats, and I was not. Looking forward to having to knock these out. But even though my energy level was shit, my strength was fully there. So I did two sets with 100 kilograms. And then I did my three top sets with 110 kilograms. I have the original bench that came with the west side knockoff on top of my fat pad to save my fat pad. I do a lot of different variations of rows. But these have been a favorite lately because I don't have to take the bar out of the bench to set them up or anything. I put the original bench that came with my west side knockoff setup from Titan over the top of the fat pad to save the fat pad from the barbell. And today's grip was maximum legal width with the Ollie straps on because sometimes my elbow gets a little bit irritated from the close grip work. Went pretty well. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you're training strong.